Hey y'all, we're shopping at the commissary. Yeah. Only one gram of sugar. Big. Oh, it doesn't matter to me, but.
Hey y'all, it's Lady C in the place to be. Lady C's lifestyles in the house. And whew, you know how me and hubby do on the weekends, you guys. We have already been out grocery shopping. We made a trip to Marshall's. Um, of course, my phone died in the middle of us grocery shopping. So I only got a little bit of that, but I do have the grocery haul. Um, I'm gonna show you guys that and I will come back a little later in the week or maybe maybe tomorrow i don't know um with a haul for my um ray dunn that i found at marshall's because <clears throat> i did find some items also found some clothing for hubby very good prices but anyway let's get to the grocery haul of it all um we went to the commissary which as i've told you guys is the military grocery store on the military base my husband is navy retired um so we usually shop there to get any deals now we went to the larger military grocery store and i'm telling you guys the food uh scarcity is real okay um i thought it was a joke you know watching people's channels i was like oh you know it's nothing major but when we got in the store now we could not even find you know some things we just couldn't even find we look at mighty bear you guys um, as far as certain canned goods, um, a lot of the seasonings, um, even the meats, there was like two packs of ground turkey left. And I, you know, usually you can get ground turkey. Um, we found no turkey legs, no turkey wings, um, barely a lot of chicken. Um, you know, it's, it's getting hard out here. Usually the commissary, you know, this is the government, you know, you think you've got everything there, but no, I was seeing some things were normal, but there was a lot of things that are getting short. Um, so you guys, you know, just make sure you're prepped up. I got my prepper pantry going on. Anyway, let's get into it. Um, you know, just that's just like a warning to everyone that is real. Normally when I shop in the commissary, I have no problems. All right, you guys, the first thing we picked up, uh, we love cheese, so we had run out of cheese. I got some Baby Swiss Sargento. And I'll do the pricing at the end, you guys. Um, this is 11 slices of the, excuse me, Sargento Baby Swiss. This is really good. Me and my husband like this. Excuse me, I'm just belching. We got some Sargento Cheddar Jack, and that's basically the shredded cheddar and Monterey um, Jack. This is the shredded, okay? Um, my daughter announced that she wanted me to make her some chips. They don't live here any longer. They have their own apartment. Um, but, you know, from time to time, they'll come over and eat, and she wanted chili. So I picked up some chili seasoning mix. Um, I got this one from McCormick. I got one regular original chili, one mild chili with less sodium. And that'll be what I use for her chili, you guys. Um, hubby, well, we'll get into those later. He picked up some packs of sauce. This is, what is this, you guys? This is a shoyu chicken sauce um, i don't know but he intends on making something that looks like that you guys so he picked this up um he picked up mama Cita's. oh what is this y'all lump lang shanghai mix um he's going to use this for his egg rolls so he picked that up we love lumpy as you guys um it's easy just to pick up the frozen ones um, these are the Philippine style egg rolls. We bought these. These are good, good, good. If you get the fresh ones, like somebody makes them homemade, they are bomb. These are second to those. So we picked these up. Um, we love tacos. And I saw all these various different new things out. So I wanted to show you guys. Um, Ortega Fiesta Flats. These are the flat bottom taco shells. Look at that, you guys, how that's made. See that? That's the flats. And I just think this is really cute. You could take that when you have the leftover taco meat and cheese and everything, you could make these maybe the next day. So um, these are out. The Ortega for Fiesta Flats, you guys. Um, I picked up one kit, uh, the bold kit with nacho cheese uh, flavored taco shells. I really, really like these. These are really good. My husband, eh, he not so much. These are a little, I think they're a little too salty for him because they do, they taste a little more salty than the regular taco. Um, then I picked up the hard and soft kit. This is what we normally get because um, we like to make fajitas and tacos. So we picked up one of those. Um, I picked up a box of the penne pasta because I was running out of pasta. 
I like to keep this either in my prepper pantry or just in my regular pantry. Um, I picked up a large box of Mueller's Elbows. I like to keep that also. This is a pretty big box, you guys, as you guys can see. Um, you know, you can use these for any kind of meal. Um, and I put these in my um, regular pantry or my prepper pantry. Okay. Um, we also picked up some of the Eggo Thick and Fluffy. I am now addicted to these, you guys. My husband got these for me. Now, when I get these, I only have to eat one because they're, so, they're so much bigger than the regular waffle. And I liked that they had whole grain. These are whole grain apple cinnamon. So I picked those up. Um, we also like the blueberry, which I picked them up too. So we got two boxes of those. Um, we got some of the Bubba Burgers turkey, and they had a coupon in the store for 75 cent off. So I used that. And I'm trying to do the veggie. I told you guys, so I got the Bubba Burger veggie, which is not as large as the regular box. You only get four of these, um, but it's all good. And I got 75 cent off this one also. I used two coupons. Um, we got a bag of sweet potatoes, sweet potatoes, um, cause I want my husband to make me some sweet potatoes, uh, for my Sunday meal and I'll be coming back showing you guys that. Um, we got some tomatoes, which we needed. We got some more oranges. We're trying to keep up with our fruit. And let's see. Um, we were so upset. We went to the commissary and could not find any turkey wings. Now they did, no, the commissary didn't even have turkey legs, um, but we had to ride around looking for these, you guys, and hubby had to go to Giant to get these instead of the commissary, and they were still $8.34, which I was not impressed with, but hey, you know, whatever. You got three wings, I think, in here for $8.34. This was from Giant, not the commissary. We had to go to two different grocery stores, um, but we did end up getting our turkey wings. Um, I am cooking those tomorrow. For Sunday dinner okay now in the comments here we did find steaks now I will have to tell you guys if you want a steak right now or just if you want beef you're gonna pay for it okay it is very very expensive now we just happened to come across these um, these were select strip loin uh, what to say select strip loin steak New York strip and these aren't the biggest you know and the, or the best and we ended up still paying $11.32 for these. Most of them were like $20 a pack or $17 or $18 a pack. I mean, they were expensive. Um, excuse my husband. <laughs> um, they were very expensive, you guys. So if you want beef right now, I don't know. You may have to search around for the good pricing. If anybody knows where you can get good beef for some good prices, you guys let me know. Um, I do have a BJ's card. Don't have a Costco or Sam's. Um, we got some of this Shady Brook Farms ground turkey. It was very hard to get these. It was only like two or three packs of turkey meat left in the whole store. Um, so, and when we went to ring the bell for somebody to come help us, nobody ever answered. We rang it like three times and no one came to help us. So you guys, they're short on help. They're short on food. It's getting a little crazy out here. Okay, I picked up two packs of the turkey meat because we use it so much and they had very little of it. So I wanted to make sure we had it on hand. So I picked up two packs of that. Okay, you guys know I'm trying to do the vegan thing a little bit. So I picked up some of these veggie grillers. Um, they weren't that bad price. Out if they taste good, we'll keep eating them. Um, we also picked up some of these chicken nuggets. These are Morning Star. We're going to see how these taste. And then I picked these up, um, Garden Lights Veggies Made Great. These are like little breakfast, um, superfood veggie cakes, and they're for breakfast. And they have, looks like it's got spinach and different veggies in it. You can eat these little ones. They look really good. Um, Gluten-free, 80 calories. Pick that up. Ooh, almost dropped it, y'all. And then we picked up spinach egg white frittata um, in the veggies also. Okay, I picked up a green pepper, some two green peppers. Um, hubby picked up some red onion. And let's see what else I'm missing. I picked up, this was really, really cheap, you guys. This is like 96 cent in the commissary. 
Um, it's Zero Sugar Country Time Lemonade. Um, and they're the on-the-go ones. I'm going to take these and put these in my water because I'm drinking water most of the time during the day. So I say for 96 cents, you get 10 of them. I'll take it. Um, Hubby picked up some of this open pit. This was really cheap too, like 99 cents or something. Um, just to have some barbecue sauce. We have run out of garlic powder, so he picked up a large thing of garlic powder. And the only place to find the larger one was in like the Spanish section of the grocery store. It's like, I don't know you guys, it's very hard. We couldn't find any seasonings. We were looking for poultry seasoning and we couldn't even find that. And you know, when can you not find poultry seasoning? So we also picked up some large eggs. Yeah, I know babe, right? Thanksgiving, it'll probably be on the shelves. Um, I picked up several packs of plastic spoons and plastic forks. Um, they were really cheap, you guys, in the comments center, like 60 some dollars, 60 cents, babe, like 66 cents. What? The forks and spoons. Oh, yeah, yeah. They were like 66 cents a bag, and it was like, it's 24 in each. So that's good for just me and hubby, so that was cool. Um, we picked up bowls, um, these Dixie bowls, 36. We love having bowls, you know. This is less clean up for us. Remember, you guys, we are empty nesters. Um, we picked up some of these solo plates. Um, this is the 44 cap. Um, I picked up some of these Arm & Hammer Clean Sensations. There's 100 in here. I got two of them. They were on sale, I believe. Um, I also picked up some of the Purex Crystals. Okay, now let's get down to the canning of it all, okay, you guys? Um, I tried to pick up a lot of cans. I try to keep them in my pantry, in my regular, in my prepper pantry, and in my regular pantry. But I am making um, chili. So I told you guys I picked up the chili mix. I also picked up some tomato sauce. Um, I picked up kidney beans. Now, I like to make my chili with kidney beans and black beans. So I picked up kidney beans and black beans. Um, I also do something different with my sweet potatoes. Um, we still put brown sugar, butter, nutmeg, whatever in our um, sweet potatoes, but I also like to take some pineapple and put it in there with the juice. Um, really, uh, I had learned this recipe because um, for low, cat, low sugar, um, you don't have to add, you really don't have to add sugar. You just use the sliced pineapple with the sugar that's in the can, and that would sweeten up your sweet potatoes. But we still do use um, brown sugar in ours, so... But I picked that up for that. Um, I picked up some cream of mushroom soup. I just like to keep that around. And I picked up some uh, Vlasic dill. Bobby didn't know whether he wanted dill because sometimes we like dill. And I picked up Vlasic sweet because sometimes we want sweet. Um, cream of chicken and mushroom. I picked that up. Another can of black beans. Another can of kidney beans. A can of diced tomatoes. I like to add the actual tomato to my chili. Yummy, yummy. And I picked up two cans of the original Bush's baked beans. Um, hubby got a pack of V8. He loves these V8 low sodium. And we picked up some Mario organic pitted mixed olives. Yes, we love olives, y'all. These are pitted mixed olives with rosemary and a hint of olive oil. I got another one, but this one is stuffed green olives with real pimento and a hint of olive oil. We needed some more creamer. Hubby picked up Coffee Mate French Vanilla. Diet, five calories. The Crayon Blackberry, you guys. And the Diet Crayon Pineapple. Yum. So that's about all we picked up. Um, I did pick up, well, I picked up some sponges. So I needed some new sponges. That's about all we picked up from the commissary, you guys, okay? We got everything laid out for dinner tomorrow. There's my wings, one pack of my wings. And hubby's got some chicken wings he's got laid out for tonight. But we also went to the dollar store. I'm just going to show you the kind of things that we get from the dollar store. Um, we had to have our Haribo. I love Haribo, you guys. We got the regular Haribo Gold Bears. We got the Haribo Happy Cherries. These are bomb, y'all. If you have not tried them, definitely try them. We got, now these are good too, the Haribo Twin Snakes. Oh my God, the sweet and sour. These are good. We like to have these just as like, these are a little snack, some fun snack to have. Um, 
And we picked another pack of the Twin Snakes because we'll fight over them. Um, Hubby needed some antibacterial wipes. These were in the dollar store. It's just a little small pack. Um, they were a dollar, so I said he could use these. He has to go to the gun range for something, and he wanted to clean off his, um, what is it, babe? I guess, uh, he wanted to clean off his ear, ear things, whatever. So we got those. Um, oh, I didn't even know we picked these up. My husband must do this. Um, these are bacon flavor, grain feed, filled bones from a dog or something. So he got that. Um, I could not find Vaseline cocoa uh, cream or whatever. Went in there, could not find another one. But I did see this Vaseline lip therapy cocoa butter. Oh, yeah. So I picked this up. Here's another bone, you guys. I don't know. This one's different flavor. Oh, this is mint flavor. Let me pick that up. And the last thing, you guys, is another Haribo Gold Bears. But that is it for now. And oh, the total for everything came to $149.44. Again, you guys know we get stuck with the surcharge at the commissary. It was $7.47. So everything came to $156.91. Oh, we spent like $157 for all of this, you guys. Okay? And I just wanted to bring it to you tonight. But yes, food is getting very scarce. I, I noticed it in the commissary. We noticed it at Giant where there was only one pack of turkey wings left. So you guys just start, you know, prepping up, making sure you got everything you need because times are getting hard. Talk at you guys later. Lady C loves you. I will see you in the next video. Smooches. Thanks everyone for watching. Love y'all. Bye-bye.